look interesting. Are, are, are they the plans for your club? They're private. Do you mind? Looks expensive. So I'm sure Roxy will help out. As a loan, which I'm paying back. I wouldn't take a penny of it otherwise. You don't resent it at all, do you? Aren't you leaving her everything? Is that what you think his money means? Not even Roxy thinks that. Could bribe her to get lost. Listen, she's here on the cadge, and she? she's got no money, she's got no flat. If I bung her two grand, I guarantee you she calls the cab herself. What do you reckon? Yeah, of course, but you can't get two grand out of a cash point. Well, that all depends where you bank, doesn't it? Wait there. I mean, Roxy thinks brilliant. Free money, let's spend it. <laughs> but for me, Let's forget it was Dad's money. Let's say it was the lottery that she'd won. I still wouldn't want any of it. Because it wouldn't mean anything. I look at these plans and... I get really excited because it's, it's terrifying. I could go bankrupt. But there's the chance that I could make something out of myself. No handouts, no silver spoon, no helpful connections. I want to walk into this new club and think... I did this, me, just by grafting away. I want to be what I make of myself, not what somebody else gives me. Sorry, I've forgotten what you asked me now. Oh, I said, shall I cook dinner for us all tonight to say thank you? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me for saying this, but I've heard that speech before from Archie. No wonder you don't want his money. He's given you something far more valuable already. Keep them shut. Ready? Open up. Ta da! What do you reckon? Is that enough? Oh, where did you get it from? Oh, that would be telling. Let's just call it the Bank of Roxy. We well, didn't get it from the safe because Mum and Ronnie are in there. No, no, it's my own personal stash. Listen, Dad always said a banker is just a thief in a suit, all right? You never give him everything. Now, come on, let's go and get rid of Mummy Dearest. Roxy, wait. You give her that now and she'll want more. Yes, she'll go, but she'll come back because you've proven that you'll give it. That's what she's doing here now. She's testing how soft you are. Oh my god. Oh my god, Amy. I've got I've got to get Amy from the crash. What time? What time is it? Right, listen, you take this, you put it in my room under my pillow, alright? I'll just put the rest away later. We'll we'll, we'll do it your way. We'll, we'll kick her out in the morning, whatever you say. Okay, go go. Looks great. I'd be more than happy to live there. Where's the problem? Because it's a fantasy. Here, here, here. Let me do that. Why don't you go and open some wine? Oh. It's not the villa that Roxy wants. It's the memory. It's like hiring this DJ. She's using the money to go backwards to a time when she was happier and you just can't. You can't buy back what you've lost, no matter how much money you've got. Sorry, I think more went on the floor than inside her. Oh, that's all right. She probably had fun playing with it. <laughs> oh, and look, it's all in your hair and not mine. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sure I'll get better at it if you give me the chance. Yeah? Well, OK, well, that's your one breakfast duty, and then I can have a lie-in. And then you can do lunch, and you can head off after that if you want. I am going to stay here tonight as well, if that's all right. Give us more time to chat. Just think. Be the first time we've all stayed together under the same roof. Yeah, well, that'd be great. More time to chat. Yes, and you can tell your mum how you saved Roxy from the DJ scam oh. artist. He saw right through him. You oh, know. Uh, Roxy's such an idiot, isn't she? I'm not the only mug to get conned by someone around here. I think we need more alcohol, please. Absolutely. 